We found out that the decision had been made to close this facility. The next phase is going to cut the power. You know, we have a lot of pumps, a lot of, uh, a lot of systems that are running, you know, everything from our lighting to our HVAC to things as simple as our admissions counters. So we made the decision that it would be best at this point in time to uh, shut down um, and plan for the future instead. I'm sorry. Is it closed? Yeah, the prayer is closed today. I'm sorry. It just closed? It just closed up. You know, it, it's a big loss, um, and you know, certainly when we heard the news that we were closing, felt a lot of that loss myself, and you know, that was shared by everybody here. I don't look forward to losing the, the animals that kind of make us what we are. Every time we move one out, it's another you know exhibit that we walk by in the hallway where we look at it and yeah, you know, kind of remember what used to be there and a lot of a lot of sadness and emotion involved with that. Our curator has been working diligently to try and make sure that every animal has a home. We've moved I think approximately 200 animals so far. Well started with the collection in Baltimore and looking at our collection with the collection that's up there to kind of match what animals we would want to transfer to that that facility. Sometimes the smaller fishes are hard to capture, you know, so a lot of times what we're doing is we're bringing the water level in the exhibit down pretty low so that we can corral them, you know, in our nets pretty easily. Sometimes when you're looking at a tank close to about a thousand gallons and you're looking for a, you know, a two inch fish in there that's dark and matches everything that's in there, it, it can be a bit challenging. Under the ledge, but there is one sitting in the crack there, you see it? It's possible that there's only one greenling. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, what? There's possible it's only one? I'm pretty sure I saw him though. We had, had started off acclimating the uh, the octopus to the net being in the water and you know feeding it near the net and getting it to kind of associate food with the net and the uh, the aquarist uh, went up there and basically put the net in the in the water. The octopus came over, kind of curious, you know, feeling around. Gave it a few moments to kind of get you know up into it, and it actually went pretty easily. We load up the truck with uh, the octopus and you know a number of other fishes that went up to Baltimore, and everybody is uh, was acclimated into their uh, quarantine systems and. Uh, so we really had no issue with the transport, you know, it actually went pretty smoothly from there. I guess if there was an animal that I'll miss the most, it's probably the, the alligators. We basically have them inside a PVC tube so they can't turn around so you know that, okay, the head is oriented that direction and we can open it this way. And then had the, the two alligators inside a wooden crate that would then lock and had air holes in it and different things so that they can get good airflow in. Uh, the alligator farm was able to pick them up and then uh, they were released back into the wild. Cave is clear except for a starfish. You know, one of the things that I think is really important is for people to, to continue to support aquariums. There is a lot of different things that happen that, you know, that need help with, um, you know, not just funding, but volunteers. And it's a neat place to, to kind of put your energies and efforts towards. And even though we're closing, it's, you know, it's been a fantastic experience. Way to close us out here. Yeah. You did it! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.